Hi, and welcome to Website Tool Tester. Choosing a website builder is pretty risk-free these days. Most of them offer free trials, so you won't be roped in against your will. But you should still know what you were looking for. So here are our top tips for finding the best website builder. Free trial. First, make sure that there is indeed a free trial. The majority of site builders provide free plans or at least a money-back guarantee. Just stay clear of shady offers with decades-long contracts that ask for your credit card details ASAP. Support. This is because you don't want to be alone if something goes oops with your website at 2 a.m. Does the company offer phone support? Email? Forum? And if so, are the forums active? What happened to Blunt Pacers 1's question? Did they ever fix that issue? Price. Prices can be hard to tell sometimes. This is why we create clear ranking tables, including monthly plans, but also any extra cost like email hosting, additional apps, or domain name renewal. Features. Everybody has got different needs for a website, but here are common things you might look for. A blogging platform. Can you easily add and edit posts? Does it support user comments? RSS? Social media? SEO features. If rankings are important to your business, can you integrate Google Analytics? Can you edit meta titles and descriptions? Mobile friendliness. Are the website templates responsive? Do they play nice on smaller screens? Online store. Can you add as many products as you like? Does it support PayPal? Can you ramp it up as your business grows? Portfolio. How nice is the photo gallery? Can you display your best work in an accordion gallery? Password protection. If safety is of concern, can you password protect pages? Can you assign different logins to different users? Does it offer encryption? Domain name. Another important point to consider. Pretty much all website builders let you pick a domain name like myawesomewebsite.com or .org or .net in their paid plans. And these are often included in your monthly fee. But if you're already the proud owner of myawesomewebsite.com, you might want to connect it to your new website. And we'll let you know how that's possible so you can immediately start being awesome online. And finally, a real-life example of how we can help. Okay, so to give you an idea of the information we offer, let's have a look at a classic battle, Wix versus Weebly. You might already know that they are probably the biggest website builders in the world right now. What you might not know is that they are surprisingly different in how they let you edit your template. As you can see, in Wix, you can move elements wherever you like. It feels like you've got complete control over the look of the page. Weebly, however, gives you more structure. On the one hand, it feels like less freedom, but it also means less chances of ending up with a shop or blog that looks like a Frankenstein of a site. So, every website builder has pros and cons. At Website Tool Tester, we go in much more detail about the differences between Wix and Weebly, and tons of other website builders, too. In short, you can leave the testing to us and focus on creating your website instead. So, that's it for us. Thanks for watching, and feel free to comment if you have any questions.